Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Lyle and I practice obstetrics and gynecology. I'm board certified in obstetrics and gynecology and I am licensed to practice medicine in both Florida and Alabama. I hope you had a great Christmas season. I had a wonderful Christmas season. Christmas is a time where we celebrate the most amazing gift, the unplanned pregnancy that brought our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ into this world. It's a time when we celebrate life, we celebrate time spent with family and friends, we exchange gifts. Maybe you got something through the mail, maybe you got a package from FedEx, or maybe you got an envelope in the mail and maybe it was a special envelope because there was a Christmas card inside and you got to see pictures of family and friends and catch up with them. Maybe when you opened the card there was a check that fell out of the card and you said Merry Christmas to me. A lot of joy and happiness is spread through the mail but a lot of evil is also spread through the mail. I predicted this and I will put the link when I predicted it down below but we've heard of Plan B. Plan B is the abortion pill which can be taken 72 hours after conception. Well, let me tell you about Plan C. There's a website now called PlanCPills.org. And yes, you can go to this website, you can click on the state of your residence, and they will find you a provider which will provide you through the mail system with the five pills necessary to kill a baby on the inside of the womb. 98% effective in pregnancies, not up to 72 hours, but up to 70 days, 10 weeks. It is 98% effective in killing the baby on the inside. The first pill of the five is a very powerful blocker of a hormone called progesterone. Progestation, progesterone. Progesterone is the hormone that keeps the pregnancy going and that blocks that signal. And Support services are withdrawn and the baby dies on the inside up to 10 weeks. Then four more pills are taken and that causes real strong uterine contractions which expel the baby from the inside. I mean, there are some joyful things which come through the mail, but when you are selling and dispensing abortion and death through the mail, that is not a good thing. That is not health care. That is taking a life on the inside. You know, we treat the preborn as patients on the inside. We can do blood transfusions directly to the baby as early as 18 weeks gestation. Now we're doing heart surgery, spine surgery, removing tumors as early as 22 weeks gestation. If they're a patient, they're a person, and if they are a person, they deserve our protection. And this is not health care when you send the abortion pill through the mail. The number one cause of death in the first trimester of pregnancy is a ruptured ectopic pregnancy. An ectopic pregnancy occurs about 1% of the time. The abortion pill is not a treatment for an ectopic pregnancy. You need to see a, a physician. You need to have an ultrasound to see where that pregnancy is and make sure that it is on the inside. So a woman will take the abortion pill thinking, I've just had an abortion. And she's told you're gonna have some cramping, gonna have some bleeding, but if it's an ectopic pregnancy, she could die from that. But we also, can do diagnostic tests on babies on the inside. And I want you to think about this. There is a blood test that we can do. It's a helpful blood test. And we can do this on blood taken from the mom's arm. And we send this off. And they can actually find little fragments of the baby's DNA. And they can actually study that DNA. In fact, seven weeks after conception, I can get that report and I can tell you if that's going to be a little boy or a little girl. So think about this timing. Seven weeks after conception, you can send off a test and get the results and you can determine whether that's a boy or a girl. But 10 weeks into a pregnancy from the first day of the last menstrual period, you can take the abortion pill. 98% successful in killing that baby based on the results of whether it was a boy or a girl on the inside. That is evil. We were all created in the image of God at that moment of conception. Genesis 1.26, Scripture says, And God said, Let us make man in our image. We were created in the image of God at that moment of conception. Abortion is an attack against that image of God. This is an evil against God because we were created in the image of God. We're going to see a lot more of this evil, and I predicted some of the evil we're going to see over this next coming year in 2021. Prepare yourself. Be knowledgeable. Take action. Be involved. And prepare your heart, prepare your mind, prepare, prepare your spirit 
for being involved and engaging against this evil. We must stand up against evil. It is the right thing to do. It is what God calls us to do. Look for those wolves in sheep's clothing. They are out there. So God bless you. Be aware of this kind of evil and fight it in whatever way you can. If you have any questions, you can contact me through my website, prolifedoc.org. God bless you, and I hope you have a wonderful 2021.